Coming up today on Houston Life, are you looking for a holiday event for the entire family? Well, we are giving you a preview of the spectacular musical production coming to Houston's Toyota Center that you can attend by booking free tickets. Plus, Wine Club Wednesday poured by HEB. The bottle with a touch of bourbon you're going to be serving at your next holiday gathering. Then there's drama up north when Lauren Kelly chats with the stars of the latest Peacock original holiday film, The Real Housewives of the North Pole. And get healthy for the holidays. We're learning more about the latest technology helping you feel your best. All of that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday and welcome to Houston Life. It's December 15th, 2021. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. Don't wake the baby. Tex is asleep here. Not anymore. Oh, hello, Tex. So today we had our holiday lunch, our luncheon, uh, yeah. grab and go. So he was seeing everybody and probably got a couple nibbles Aww. of our lunch on the ground here. Well, it's nap time after a large meal, and we're so glad to have you with us. We are. This is a week away. I cannot even believe this. December 15th, major countdown going going on, of course, I'm sure in your house, our house as well. But some fun news to share with you today. You know, we love Megan the Stallion, of course, the Houston rapper. Do you know, I mean, this was a big, big week for her. Um, she received the Congressional Hero Award. This is really fantastic. This was given out uh, by Sheila Jackson Lee. Um, and first, she received her college diploma from TSU um, earlier. There she is there walking across the stage, Super grabbing cool. her diploma. Happy, unbelievable moment for her. And then she was also awarded by Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee the Congressional Hero Award. And in part of the award, um, the Congresswoman said, quote, you are not only a source of inspiration for our community and all of your hot girls, you are a humanitarian that cares deeply about your city. As you said, I love to see women lead. Super cool yeah. and well-deserved. And great that she got her diploma. To, to have that kind of honor, first of all, I mean, she cer certainly has not forgotten her Houston roots. At all. And she has done so much for her community, so so bravo. And, you know, no matter when people finish school, we hear these stories about people who take a break to focus right. on being a parent or, or starting a career, and then they circle back and come back and finish school. And even if you don't finish school, you know, everyone has a different path, right? There is no timeline. Just because other people do something one way doesn't mean you can't chart your own path. Absolutely, and celebrate the journey that you're on and we love hearing this one uh, about her more info on that story of course click to houston.com go check that out well i've got a cute one for you okay three-year-old her name is peyton okay and she smuggled her pet to school one day her pet fish in her sippy cup Oh. And the pet's name is Mermaid. She is quoted as saying she just loves her pet so much, she didn't want to leave her home. So the parents, they didn't see it happen. Okay. But they say that probably what happened is she scooped. There she is right there. And oh, isn't is a, she just adorable? She is adorable. They say she probably scooped up the fish out of the tank and then put it in her sippy cup. She did put some food in there so the fish uh, would, would not get hungry. The teacher did notice, though, um, that she was... <laughs> Peyton forgot that the fish was in there, and so oh. she was she was drinking the fish. <laughs> she was taking <laughs> sips of the fish juice and the hey. food in there. But the good news is the fish survived. Apparently, it got a tank upgrade the very next day. So we're happy that Mermaid and Peyton are both doing very, very well. And we think we think it was a betta fish, perhaps. It looks she, like a betta. Yeah, but that's the sweet, sweet story. You always hear the story about you know the dog that followed the kids to school. The kids to and, school. You know, blah blah blah. But that is super cute. I'm Did not you? sure we've ever. Did I what? Ever smuggle anything to school? Sorry to interrupt. Not anything that I recall. Like that a I pet recall. or anything? No. No, okay. not me. Okay, no. probably for the best. Probably. Um, okay, so here's another bizarro story. We're going from like cute to really weird. Um, there's a new cologne out. I'm sure it's on your your gift list for this year. Okay. It's called Internet. That's what it's that's what it's labeled. I legit thought this was a fake story. 
Um, Hold on, the cologne is called Internet? Yes. What does the Internet smell of? Well, that, funny you should ask, Derek, because that's what we cover in this. This is the scent. These are the uh, perfume notes, if you will. An extractive web of raw materials and sweat spiking mm -hmm. dopamine and desperate self-monetization from the vantage of a polyurethane chair. Oh. Does that just make you want to spray cologne all over you? I mean, I kind of already smell just like that, so I probably don't even need the cologne. How much and where do we buy it? Okay, y'all. On the internet? <laughs> on the internet. That's where you Interesting can find guess. it. Um, this is through High Art Museum. It's only 15 milliliters, the bottle. I'm not real good in math, but I'm guessing that's like this. <laughs> it's not very big. Well, wait, hold on. Like a, a large bottle of cologne is usually 3.4 ounces. Yes, this is 15 as as milliliters. So it's small. Very it's exclusive. Very tiny. 150 bucks to smell like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it smell like the internet. I mean, this is so. I don't think it's real. Do you think people are actually buying that? I don't know. I would like to try some, but I'm not going to pay that much to find out what Why it actually smells like. Why would you want to try that? I don't know. Just to see, to see well, what it's all about. People be like, what's that scent? What's that scent? Do you remember the time a Sment. few weeks ago? It's smell and scent together. <laughs> you just invented a new word. A cement. We had that soda that tasted like turkey and gravy. Oh, remember that? Or, yes, that I will never delicious. be able to forget. It that was tasted really good. like broth, actually, like bubbly broth. <laughs> I know. So oh, I thought it was awesome. I you loved did. It. it was like butter or something. It was strange. How about an awkward conversation? What about? Do you think about that. Okay. How do you tell your friends that you no longer want to buy them gifts during the holidays, or you know, for birthdays, anything for that matter? Um, I mean, maybe just don't. Do you have to tell them? Like, is it an obligation to buy people presents? Well, no, not at all. But but the sticky situation that a lot of people end up in, I'm sure a lot of our viewers have been here. It's like, you're not planning on giving neighbor gifts, but then suddenly some sweet person shows up at your front doorstep and they've purchased you a gift, but you're like, oh, wait a minute, but I didn't get you something and I don't want Just to. Just say thank you. <laughs> is that what you would do? I mean, I'm not going to rush out on Christmas Eve and buy something. I may, like, go in the candle storage and, you know, I've got, I got back stock in the candles. That is, yeah, that's a really great, and, like, Everybody loves a candle. scrawl their name on the gift. My feeling is, when we give gifts to people. You also don't expect it, right? Oh, my gosh, no. It's like, I'm giving you this gift because I really want, I, you know, I thought of you, I saw this, and, and I want you to have it. But a lot I of people. I saw this internet cologne, and I thought of you. Yeah. <laughs> because it smelled like a foam chair. So on Yahoo, they actually have some tips, right? Okay. And the first one is just don't hesitate, okay? You, you can use your, you can actually speak up, use your words like a child, but like they, they actually suggest that y you use words like, hey, since we have exchanged gift, gifts in the past, I want you to know that this year I am choosing not to exchange gifts with friends because of, and then you fill in the blank there. Okay, you, so this is like if you've already in the pattern of exchanging, but now you're just over it. Yeah, offer an alternative, stick to your plan. I mean, this could apply to like you and me, Courtney. I did get you a, a holiday gift this year, and you're going to love it. I got I you, you one that I cannot wait to really? give you. Okay, yes. but what if you hadn't? Or what if I hadn't? And Unlike what if us, I, though. What if I came to you, though, and I said, yo, bro, I know in the, in the past we have exchanged gifts, but this year I am choosing not to do so because of insert reason here. Okay, well, it's just that makes that situation awkward. Just let me give you the gift, and then I'm not expecting it anything. You know, it makes it weird, but, but I bought you something, so do I not give it to you now? But what I'm saying is, you know what you I mean? preemptively have these conversations, like, hey, FYI, COVID's been crazy. We decided to not exchange gifts with people. You, unfortunately, are one of those people I really don't want to buy something for. Y you're Just on be that list. About it. <laughs> but there's others that I found really great gifts for. I can't wait for them to open it up. It's going to be good. It's really sweet. Do you know one year, my sister and my mom played the best prank on me. We were working on neighbor gifts, and we would usually make those little Pizzelli cookies, the Italian cookies in a Pizzelli iron. Super cute. You stack them so up, good. you put them in cellophane, tie a ribbon on it. Feel free to use that idea. It's a great gift. It, and they're so pretty. They're so pretty, made from the heart. But my sister made like these miniature, they were going to do those large like dipped pretzels that are covered in chocolate. Yes, and, and then sprinkles. Yes, and but what my sister did is she got like the little snack size pretzels. <laughs> 
Sorry, and gave you some? No, and she dipped them in chocolate and she wrapped them in a basket and she had me convinced that she was going around the neighborhood giving people like these mini pretzels. Barbie doll sized pretzels. <laughs> and I was kind of embarrassed and horrified. Like, that's so guys, cute. This, that's a this lot of work all. for that prank, though. And then she fake cried because I insulted her and that, wow, they really got me. That is a good one. I know. I was so proud of my Now I want chocolate covered family. pretzels. That's the end just result a bite of that. Size. Just a bite size. Okay, well, we're going to have fun on today's show. Even you, Texas man, you and your nap. Still to come on Houston Life, the stars of And Just Like That, you know, the new Sex in the City reboot, some of them are being criticized for their looks and how one cast member is clapping back at her critics. Now let's check in with Joe Sam, who has the latest in health technology. Hi, Joe. Courtney Derrick, that's right. Take a look at this machine here. It's new technology with advanced body scan. When we come back here on Houston Life, we're going to tell you what it does and how it's helping save lives when Houston Life returns. Okay, welcome back. This has been a big talker, of course, not only of the reboot of Sex in the City, of course, we're talking about and just like that, but also the appearance of the cast members in this. So it's getting a lot of play online. People are questioning, you know, the wrinkles, the gray hair, everything. I mean, poor Kristen Davis is being, you know, dragged through the mud by uh, the way her face looks today. I think she looks fantastic. I think all of them do. So here is, these are some then and now photos if you see. Kristen Davis, of course, Charlotte. And that's from when the first first episodes of the season first were airing. Yeah, SJP. And then um, we have Cynthia Nixon coming up as well. So again, then and now. So Cynthia Nixon, of course, her character Miranda, known for her fiery red hair. Yeah. Right? And so a lot of these people, people are saying that, you know, uh, they're getting negative comments. Uh, the cast members are. Like that they look old? Yes. That's ridiculous. Though. I know. Also, now cameras are so different because they shoot everything in super high def. And so you see more of someone's facial features. But why would anyone criticize, I mean, some of the Can most lovely accomplishments? Out the obvious here so these women all look great yes they've aged because that is what happens yeah we all do but if they had maybe more fillers or less wrinkles then all of a sudden it becomes oh what did you do just age gracefully but nobody's talking about the men no one's talking about Big's hair how it was black and now it's not and you know oh, nobody's talking point. about the men in the room which I find Repulsive. Well, I also think it's just shocking that, like, these are strangers. Yes, they're celebrities, but just because they're in the public eye, why are we all commenting on like, the way they look kings and the way and they? Queens, the yeah. people that don't leave the building. You I know think what they I mean? look phenomenal. I hope they can can brush it all off. And I love Miranda's gray hair. I'm surprised that, um, you know. What's her name? Charlotte gave her a hard time in the series. Yeah, I thought that was weirdly written in as well. And also, you know, they made age a very big part of, of the first episode where it was, oh, I'm 55. Oh, I'm 51. Oh, she's 52. They were all kind of blurting out their ages in there, which yeah. normally, but a lot of the, the, the women in that series say, I'm empowered to tell my age. Totally. I think so it's great. we all should, right? Okay, page six has more of that information. All right, LK. Ooh, send it over to you. Don't get me started. I'm LJK. so on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, we want to hear from you guys. What is something that gets better with age? We've got some great answers already coming in. Let's start with Nancy up first. Self-confidence. I could not agree more. So true. Jerry says patience for fools. Amen. Again, couldn't agree more with that as well. Michelle says grudges and George <laughs> Clooney. Very, very, very true. Well said, Michelle. I love it. Uh, and finally, Carl Carla says, no longer feeling like you need to please everyone. It's liberating. All those really great answers. What about friendships? Friendships over the years, really, you, you've got to find out who your friends are and, and your real true group of friends really stick around with you over the years. So I, I love all of those answers. Head over to the Houston Life Facebook page. Join our conversation. We'll share more of your comments a little bit later on. But Derek and Courtney, I'm totally on board with the Miranda hair. I was shocked that Gorgeous. Charlotte said that. I know. I was like, I love the gray hair on on Miranda. I loved it. Also, I mean, maybe I'm just an optimist, but aren't we past the point where it's 
ever considered okay to criticize someone's looks mm -hmm. or to say like, you know, just because I dye my hair jet black slash purple <laughs> means you need to, you know, exactly. do the same thing. Exactly. So I, you be you, right? We're all different for a reason. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. One thing that gets better with, with age, yeah. I think, is my internal barometer. Oh. What I deal with and what I don't deal with. Right, the filter. It's been very short my entire life. It gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> you never have to wonder what Courtney is thinking. <laughs> that is true. And I like it's what you said about friends, too. Yes. <laughs> Blessing and a curse. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Lauren. Sure. Thanks to all our viewers for their comments as well. Shifting gears now, a new facility working to prevent heart and lung disease is gearing up to open their newest location in Houston. This is really fascinating. Advanced Body Scan has the latest technology that can help save your life. Joe Sam is there now with the full story. Hi, Joe. Hey guys, that's right, Courtney and Derek. So if you are one that's focusing on your health and your wellness, this is the place that you have to come because they are doing a lot of preventative measures to make sure that you stay healthy and stay on top of your game when it comes to that. We're talking about advanced body scan and I'm here with the founder, Steven, to give us information about this new technology here. But before we do that, we wanna talk about how this is your new facility, the first one here in Houston. Congratulations. Thank you, we're excited to be here. It's our first location in Houston, Texas. We're located in Bel Air. So mm. we couldn't be happier being in Texas. It's really convenient for a lot of people who want to come around because this is definitely centrally located. When we talk about advanced body scan, give people a breakdown about what that is and what does your company do? Sure. So for the last 10 years, uh, we use this technology to look for life-threatening diseases without an invasive method. So, mm. you know, we found that early detection saves lives, and that's what Advanced Body Scan is all about. A lot of your patients that come in here, they come in not knowing about any type of diseases that they may have, but then when they walk out, they have all what they need, the information that they need to take to their medical doctor and start a plan, start a treatment. Talk about some of the patients that you may have seen come in with that same issue. You know, we've scanned over 60,000 people. The majority of those people come in asymptomatic, yet we find symptoms of life-threatening diseases because of the technology we use, even before symptoms may appear that they consciously are aware of. Mm -hmm. You know, for example, the heart, it doesn't have a check engine light. That's true. And heart disease takes many years to develop, but we can see the telltale signs of it at a very early stage. And by doing that, we can get the information they need to get to the docs that can treat them for that. A lot of our viewers who are watching right now, there's a special that you're offering for them. When they mention Houston Life, it's a couple's heart and lung treatment that they can actually get for 164, the price value of $2,800. You're offering this to them. How can they find that information? That's our grand opening special. Uh, heart and lung scan for two people, includes a radiology report, calcium score, and a consultation with our medical professional. Mm -hmm. They can give us a call at 833-411-SCAN, 833-411-7226, or you can text the word SCAN to 21000. Stephen, thanks for all of that information. When we come back, we're going to be talking about me getting on here and actually doing the scan myself. For those of you who are interested in more information, we're going to also have that information on HoustonLife.tv and AdvancedBodyScan.com. Courtney and Derek, some really amazing technology, and we're going to test it out when we come back. All right. Can't wait to see it, Joe. Thanks for that. When we come back, learn all about the magnificent Christmas concert bringing joy to Houston. Also, how you can get free tickets to the show. And Rob Thomas fans, listen up. The multiple Grammy Award winning singer songwriter has a debut holiday album out right now. We are giving away an autographed guitar and a copy of the CD to one lucky KPRC2 insider. Just visit clicktohouston.com slash insider if you would like to sign up. You do have until 3 p.m. this Friday to enter. Good luck. Stay right there. More of Houston Life when we return. Gracias Christmas Cantata is a show-stopping musical event that has wowed millions of people in more than 40 countries. And now is your chance to see it for free right here in Houston. James Hom with International Youth Fellowship is here now with more on the production. James, welcome to Houston Life. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for inviting me. Well, we're glad to have you here in Houston. And let's talk about this show because it's going to be larger than life. Three beautiful filled stages and people who attend the show for free. We're going to tell you how you can do that. Uh, they'll actually see 
uh, the opera of the nativity scene? Is that how you start the show? Yeah, that's right. So when they come in, uh, they'll be able to see um, the first act, which is the nativity scene of Jesus Christ in opera format. And then the second act is going to be um, a Christmas musical called Little Match Girl. Oh, the story of the Little Match Girl was one of my favorites growing it up. It makes them everybody cry. It's really great. And then the third act is finally the um, Christmas Carol by Gracious Choir and Orchestra. Wow, okay, and, and the visuals, the video that we're seeing on screen right now, this really is incredible. I know crowds love the show. So this is all very festively costumed and choreographed. Where do these performers come from? Literally all over the world? Sure, so the Gracious Choir and Orchestra started out in South Korea in year 2000. Uh, it was a small choir, but then the founder was keep on giving them the hope and inspiration, uh, telling them that they're the world best choir in the whole world. So then they were going for it and uh, they were receiving some uh, awards in uh, some renowned places like Italy, Germany, and Switzerland, and international choral competitions uh, in 2014 and 15. So now they are going around all over the world. Every year they go, ar go around 40 countries Wow, to perform. that's incredible, and it's such a talented group. I mean, the, this venue, too, is, is perfect for it. So if this show sounds and looks familiar to Houstonians, that's because it is. The show has actually been in Houston before. COVID sort of changed that a little bit, correct? That's right. We were here in Houston for 10 years, uh, hosted by International Youth Fellowship, um, and we are continuously inviting the Gracious Choir and Orchestra every year. Uh, they've been doing it in um, Smart Financial Center, NRG Arena, and many other venues here in Houston. <clears throat> this is our first time having it at Toyota Center uh, because many people are keep on coming and asking, so we moved to a bigger venue. It was, it was a challenge, but we'll see how it goes. That's incredible. I hope you fill every seat there at Toyota Center, uh, right downtown there as well. What's been the response to, to families and, and people who come to see the show? And it really is such a great holiday tradition. What do people say when they leave the show? So, um, I don't know if you have ever experienced something like after you watch a movie, you kind of feel empty, kind of, oh, maybe it was a waste of time. But people that are leaving after the show, their, their eyes are teary, watery, and they are so happy and moved and touched. And it was such a meaningful um, event for everybody, especially during this Christmas holiday season. And a great memory that, that That's right. people can make together. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how people can get tickets because this is a critical point. Tickets are free, but because it is a first come, first serve, no assigned seating, you recommend people go online, they get their tickets, and then show up early. That's right. We want to give everybody a chance and want to uplift the hearts of the community, uh, give them joy. Uh, by giving them free tickets online, can, they can go to www.christmascantara.us and can request free tickets online. But it'll be first come, first served basis. So no assigned seating. They, should, they have to show up. We open the house at 6 p.m. and we will close the door at 7 p.m. when we sh begin the show with the special lighting effects and all that. And every in between will open up a little bit but have to come before seven okay that's really good advice so get downtown early park your cars go grab a little iced coffee over at Phoenicia then walk to Toyota Center and when those doors open at six get inside and then the important thing is it'll be anyone over the age of five are welcome to come in but no children under five are allowed to come in so no children under the age That's of right. five That's right. We want to uh, give them the best experience of the Christmas musical with the loving and touching sceneries. Uh, so we want to give them the quietness <laughs> sometimes. No screaming babies is what you're right. saying. It's okay, James. We get it. James Hom, thank you so much for stopping by. It sounds like a fantastic show. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. And Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you, too. If you would like a link to request your free tickets for Gracias Christmas Cantata, you can check out the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. All right, Courtney, we're going to send it on over to you. Okay. I'm saying cheers. Coming up, we're highlighting the perfect bottle for wine and whiskey enthusiasts alike, how you can get a big discount on this crowd pleaser. We're also going to get a check of what is coming up for the news at the top of the hour, including what you need to know if you're traveling with those kids over the holiday break. Stay right there. Houston Life is back in two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you on this Wednesday at 3.30. Yeah, so today's question of the day is, what is something that gets better with age? Let's get to more of your comments now. Nan writes in, McConaughey, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I like Good where you're one. going. It's so true. Greg always has a great comment. Ideally, appreciation for and understanding of 
everyone. Love that. I love that. So nice. Willie writes in, real cheese, whiskey, <laughs> Roth IRAs, and evenly yoked marriages. Well said. It's funny how your priority lift just shifts a little bit, you know, <laughs> as you get older. And I really like what Lauren Kelly said earlier about how your friendships sort of change. Yes. I think as, as we age, I mean, there was a time, like I swear in my 20s, it's like everyone's worried about money and what they're going to do for life. And then very quickly, you realize that time is really our biggest deficit, you know? I totally. just want more time. So the people with whom we choose to hang out, I mean, th that circle gets smaller and smaller. Smaller it's and It's like, smaller. you know what? I'm about dead. I don't have time for this conversation. I gotta get we out. We gotta go. We gotta go. Especially if you're gonna look at your phone the whole time. Oh my gosh. I know that gets under your skin. I know. What about you? I, I'm I'm with you. I don't have time. Like I, I my circle definitely is a lot smaller for sure. You know, I, I just and again the barometer for just the minutia of life. Okay. I don't have one. Okay. Let's check in now with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what's coming out of the time. Y'all know me pretty well. And the so number of times. I'm thinking of what you're putting down. What? I think we all sort of share that same sentiment. <gasps> like, life is too short. And the older you get, the more you're like, hey, this conversation, I don't have time for it. I'm with no. you guys. Yeah, but the older you get for me, I mean, I think I think life, I've just realized that life is so much better the older you get. I, I, mean, I agree. Yeah, yeah. You don't really start, you don't figure it out till you're in your 40s, and then by the time you hit 50, you're like, okay, now I know how I to know, actually how to live it. it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. so I, I, I couldn't wait till I turned 50. I don't know why. My 50 is way better than my 25. So Wow. Yeah, I was going to say memory, but what was the question? <laughs> wait, I forgot. What are we talking about? <laughs> Speaking of something that gets better with age, mm. Frank's been friend with Billingsley, y'all. Man. <laughs> I get older with age, I'll say that. Fine wine right here. We got fine, fine wine, wine right wine here. Right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, we all have lots of doctors and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot to talk about. First of all, the fog that we had was mostly bay, around the bay area, uh, and it burned off to a nice day, but a warm day. We have already broken the record once again in Galveston, getting close elsewhere. T temperature 79, 81, 81 in Sugarland. So another warm day. Look at this little Cooper. I mean, I know, right? Oh, dude. Cute Cooper. That's a, a lot of dogs are named Cooper, by the way. A lot of the That's pictures one. that are sent to me are Coopers, but adorable. All right, temperatures for your dog walk right there on the mild side. They're going to love it. You can see there's been a sprinkle out west, but we're not looking for any rain. In fact, fog again tonight. I wanted to point this out to you. All these tornado and thunderstorm watch boxes and warnings, that is a line moving at 65 miles an hour toward Omaha. So once it gets to a town, it only lasts 10 minutes. I mean, it's in and it's out, but it's a strong line of, of winds and it's going to produce a lot of wind damage as it moves through. And it's part of the system. There's low right here. This system was actually what's going to move through here on Saturday. It's going to slow down because of this high. So we're not looking for this, but we could see some showers and storms on Saturday. We'll talk about that coming up at four. I wanted to point out some Christmas fun to you. The climatology for Christmas, first of all, our warmest 83. 2015, not so long ago. We may get close to that again. 11 degrees was the coldest in 1983. A couple of inches up of rain in 1916. And a lot of you will remember 2004. Not all of us had snow. We had a, like a dusting here in Houston. But that, what you see there, and that's snow on the ground all the way to Galveston where they were building snowmen. So will we have a white Christmas this year? Snow way. <laughs> That's all I can tell you about that. What we'll talk about coming up, some more overnight fog. That weekend front, that's going to change things at least for a little bit. But I tell you, Frosty's going to be losty this Christmas. Frosty's going to... Not his ear. He's going to be on a beach somewhere. Yes, <laughs> yes. Big right. sand snowman. Uh -huh. All right, Frank, thank you. We want to give you a look now at some of the other stories we're working on this afternoon. President Joe Biden touring the devastation from this week's tornadoes in Kentucky. We will take a look at the areas the president visited and how recovery efforts are going. Plus, rising costs across the nation right in the midst of the holiday season. The impact inflation is having on Americans and the reason why this is happening right now. Speaking of the holidays, many people will be traveling with their young children this Christmas. So how do you make your trip less stressful and keep the kiddos entertained? We'll look at some of the options coming up at 4 o'clock, guys. Yeah, ready or not, holiday travel season is here, guys. We'll see you at 4. Okay. All righty. Well, speaking of getting better with age, it is happy hour in Studio B. And in today's Wine Club Wednesday, poured by HEB, whiskey meets wine. You heard that right. Whiskey meets wine. The must-have bottle bridging the love of Kentucky bourbon and California wine. This is super interesting. We're highlighting the Barrel Bomb Cabernet. Barrel Bomb Cabernet is 80% Cab, 20% Malbec, and Petite Verdot from Paso Robles, California. Mm-hmm. 
and Wonderful. it is aged for 12 months in oak barrels and then aged for 90 days in Kentucky bourbon casks. And then final blend has a rich, powerful flavors of vanilla, licorice, and oak. I know that your smell, I, I haven't tasted it yet. So wine and bourbon are two flavors that can be surprisingly complementary. Both take shape and structure from the wood barrel aging process. So it's so interesting. You said age 12 months in yeah. oak barrels and then they move it into Kentucky bourbon cakes yes. for another three months. So it, I, that totally influences the flavor. Of Absolutely. And this makes a really fun gift and a great option for somebody if you know, you know, you like somebody likes that Kentucky bourbon and red wine. What a fun conversation to have with this. Fun to drink on its own. It can also take the place of a dessert wine at the end of a meal. So very interesting. 20 bucks. It doesn't taste like port. That no. was that was our theory. We thought maybe if it's like a dessert wine or an after dinner drink, then maybe it would taste like a port, which typically is a bit sweeter. I wouldn't describe this as sweet at all. How would no, you? No, but I it? definitely would see it. Um, you know, with like a a chocolate mousse or a creme brulee or something like that. I feel like it could go. It blends very well. Served with something sweet. Yes. Not like overly sweet itself. Exactly. But super interesting. I love it. Well, HEB always has these really great sales too. So you can save 15% when you buy six Cabernets, 20% when you buy 12 or more. So if you're thinking about stocking up, uh, now is a great time to do that. The sale runs through Christmas Eve. Yeah, so this is a great it. time to stock up for sure. Okay. Barrel bomb. Cabernet. I like the shape of this bottle as well. A reminder, if you would like to join our Houston Life Wine Club poured by HEB, just visit our website to register. You'll have access to exclusive giveaways. You'll even have a chance to do virtual wine tastings with Courtney and me. That is right. Cheers to that. Cheers Super to you. Fun. Add this to your gift list as well. As a reminder, you can find today's featured wine at your local HEB. All right, guys, coming up, I'm revealing day 11. Can you believe? We're almost done. We are on day 11 Say of my stocking so. stuffers. And this one is helping Houstonians eat fresher by delivering produce straight to your door. So if you're looking for like the foodie or the hard to buy, everybody's got to eat. Brandon and I love this one. I can't wait for you guys to see it. But first, why don't we check in with Lauren Kelly, who has some news from uh, the North Pole. Is that right, Lauren? Mm -hmm. News and drama, same thing, right? Two best friends, but only one queen for Christmas. Kyle Richards and Betsy Brandt chat about their new holiday film, Housewives of the North Pole. Houston Life will be right back. We are in day 11 of my 12 days of stocking stuffers. I cannot believe we're already here. Of course, if you're just catching up, I have curated the perfect gift list. It's gonna cover all of your bases, all from local businesses, of course, to help us all shop small this holiday season. And today I'm highlighting the perfect way you can bring the farmer's market straight to a loved one's door this holiday season. If you have a foodie in your life, you know somebody who eats, well, this is for them, okay? I'm talking about Verde Greens Farm. This is located in Acres Homes. This is North Central Houston. Actually started in 2016 by a chef, a restaurateur, a winemaker who decided to step back from the end result of food and instead get closer to the source of where food is grown. They produce healthy, nutritious, pesticide and herbicide free leafy greens, herbs and mixed vegetables. The Verde Green Farm Box. This is what you're going to get. You guys, it is big. It is packed with everything that you need. The Farm Box program was started, of course, during the pandemic as a way to make everything that one might find at a farmer's market available for online purchases. The farm boxes featured hand-picked living lettuces, greens from the farm, and a section of organic pro produce and premium mushrooms from local producers. It contains everything that you're seeing on this table that you might need for about a week or so of cooking. This is the $45 farm box. So this is the larger one, and this is the standard farm box, which feeds about three to four people 
for a week. Again, 45 bucks. You're looking at all this fresh uh, produce, vegetables, leafy greens. In this box, they have mushrooms from Lone Star Mushrooms and Tomball. It's one of the lion's manes, and the other is blue oyster. Um, and it comes in breathable brown paper bags. It is the coolest gift. I really thought out of the box for this one because I wanted to feature something that was obviously locally sourced. I mean, this is something great. We got one of these as a gift and I was blown away. It is such a cool, cool gift. Derek, I'm gonna bring you in. Guys, if you wanna order this for someone, for yourself or someone you love, their day greens, so it's a play on words there, dot com. I know that you were super impressed with this, well, right? Yeah, so Courtney got a box a few weeks ago and you were kind enough to share some of the items with me and with yeah. Brandon. And I swear we ate for two or three days and he created some delicious salads. I've done some of the farm boxes before. This is the best one that we've ever tried. It's really incredible what's going on here. And um, you were talking about the sunflower shoots. I had the microgreens. Yeah. I use that on my avocado toast. I add that in. If you like smoothies in the morning, I mean, all of this is going to take care of all of those needs. But what a cool stocking stuffer. It's great. You just have to budget in a little extra time to wash and chop all the vegetables because it does take time to create a beautiful salad. But you'll be so glad you did. And their beets, too. So good. You know, I love beets. Good stuff. I know. I'm so excited to feature this one. Again, this is a farm right in Acres Homes. Check them out. Give the gift of greens this year. So cool. I'm glad that you liked it as well. Thanks for introducing me to it, Susie. Absolutely. You know what? Tomorrow is our final day I of our great it. stocking stuffers. Can you even stand it? We are on day 12 tomorrow. If you missed any of the other items, you can find them on HoustonLife.tv or simply scan that QR code on the screen. It's going to take you to the entire list. Plus, did you miss this? We have an opportunity for one lucky KPRC2 insider to win all 12 days. Every item that we featured on the stocking stuffers. It's such a great giveaway and good luck to our viewers. All right, thanks, Courtney. Now, why don't we send it on over to Lauren Kelly, who has a movie perfect for this time of year. Hey, Lauren. Hey, guys. The Christmas queens of North Pole, Vermont, Trish and Diana, have won the best holiday house decorating competition every year for the past nine years. But just days before Christmas, a friendship ending argument sparks a townwide feud and even grabs the attention of a national magazine writer. Kyle Richards and Bretzi Brandt are chatting all about the house Wives of the North Pole. I don't know, like cheating on family game night and then making your daughter lie about it. She told you that? Did you really cheat at charades? You were cheating, Mrs. Rivera? Hi, girls. <laughs> Look at those great outfits. Got any cookies? First of all, Kyle, oh you gotta break down this amazing holiday movie for us. Uh, this movie is just, first of all, I'm obsessed with the holidays and Christmas movies, so I was so excited to be a part of this. It is a warm, loving, touching, funny movie that's going to give you all the feels. Um, it's really about, you know, starts up with two best friends who compete in this competition every year together to win the best decorated home for the holidays, and they end up having this huge okay. blowout. And they drift Maybe apart. The whole town is talking about it. it. They're doing a story in them. Okay, and their children kill. try to this bring them back together. In the meantime, they are competing win. against each other now to win this competition. Betsy, uh, you've gone from purple and Breaking Bad now to red <laughs> and green for the holidays. You love reindeer in this film. I is playing a housewife something that you ever thought that you would do? You're really great at it, by the way. Um, thank you. I mean, she's, you know, it's so not like, I know there's housewives in the title, but it's so, you know, um, both these characters are think are so different from that. I, I love, love, love the holidays. Also, Kyle and I are both all in. Um, and I, I love a Christmas movie and I, I think it was really sweet and really charming. I felt like this is, you know, I love a lot of drama. I like to do shows with some heavy drama, but it was really nice, especially after the year and a half that we've had. Nobody dies. Nobody gets stabbed. Nobody, you know, comes after anyone else with an ax well, or anything. Well, maybe like stabbing in the back, but that's totally different, right? Yeah, totally yeah, fair but game. It's, fair it's, game. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, but it's not like grotesque backstabbing. 
there's a little face stabbing. <laughs> there's, a little, <laughs> there's, there's a little, there's a little bit of that. They kind of like, well, look, you do this. But it's just, I mean, I, I think it's really sweet and really charming. And it's, it, I think they get the tone just right that it's, it's enough that you're like, okay, I'll watch. But um, there's also so much love there. I think it, it lets us go into it. It really is so sweet. And, you know, well, you guys did a great job. I love the film. It's really just one of those funny, humorous, everybody can relate to it uh, type of holiday films. I know our Houston Life viewers are going to just love it. Streaming on Peacock, it's the Housewives of the North Pole. Ladies, thank you so much and happy holidays, okay? December 9th. You Thanks too. Thanks so much. Happy holidays. Such a cute film. I really liked it. Catch up on all the drama at the North Pole in this fun holiday film as Housewives of the North Pole is currently streaming on Peacock. Now, fun facts about both of them. Obviously, we know Kyle Richards from The Real Housewives of right. Beverly Hills. Betsy, if you didn't catch that in the interview, she was a, recur a recurring character on Breaking Bad. Yes. And it was a very dramatic role. And I just, as I was speaking to her, I couldn't see her playing anything else because she's so sweet and loving in this, in this film. But Kyle was a child actor. Actress. She's done a yeah. lot of different things. Our producer Heather was talking about it. She was in ER. She was in the original Halloween. Uh, you know, so she actually has a ton of experience acting, but she's just, we know her now as a housewife in reality TV. And they seemed really cool. Like you were pleasantly surprised. No I was attitude. I pleasantly just... surprised. No, and in the film, if you are a Housewives fan, there are a few cameos that I know that you are going to oh. recognize from some of the other ladies from some other mm -hmm. real, real Housewives. How fun. That's good yeah. news. Thanks, Lauren. Sure. Love that that. All right, let's check back in with Joe Sam, who is sharing a really great way to keep track of our health. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys, that's right. I have our tech here at Advanced Body Scan getting ready to get this new technology ready for me. We're going to go ahead and lower this down, and I'm going to get on top and get ready to tell you exactly how this machine works when Houston Life returns. Welcome back here to Houston Life. We're focusing on health and wellness today here at Advanced Body Scan. We're getting ready to actually do the scan. Now, this is not going to be an official scan. We're just showing you exactly what the customer comes in and experiences. Steven here, the founder, is going to show me through the entire process. So talk about what we're doing. You said I can do this with full clothes on. Come in just as you are. <laughs> walk off the street. And as you see, there's no dyes, there's no needles, there's nothing invasive. You lay down on this comfortable bed. She's going to raise you up, mm. run you into the machine, one side, and then you come back out and go in again, and we're done. I'm glad you mentioned no needles, because that is going to be exciting for a lot of people. Why is this something that you wanted to make sure you focus on when we talk about heart and lung disease? So we're looking for early signs of heart and lung disease, the two deadliest killers. Heart and lung disease kill more people than all other diseases combined and they are a long-term disease so finding them at an early stage we have we can get you to help and get you to a medical professional because early detection saves lives that's that's why we're here exactly this is really simple because this is all i had to do was just lay here and that's all they have to do when they come in correct yeah, that's correct tell us quickly how can people take part in the special offer that you're offering right we now for Houston Life? We have a grand opening special. Yes, let's hear about it. Two heart and lung scans, you'll get the machine just like this. It includes a radiology report, it includes a calcium score, and a consultation with one of our medical professionals. Mm -hmm. We also highly recommend you take this information to your medical doctor as well. Both of those, $2,800 value, our grand opening special is $164 wow. for two people. Amazing, amazing information there. And of course, we can find more information on your website at advancedbodyscan.com, correct? Correct. Or you can give us a call at 833-411-SCAN. Again, it's 833-411-7226 or text the word SCAN, S-C-A-N, to 21000. Perfect. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to just continue to lay here and just relax. I might fall asleep. So we're going to go ahead and send things back to Courtney and Derek in the studio. But this is absolutely you wonderful. Make a good oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for that. Very interesting. I mean, technology has changed healthcare so much. It really has. Really incredible to get a look there. All right, guys, after the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show with a sweet DIY you can do with the kids. And as we head to break, let's check in with Nichelle Turner for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight. In 
Derek and Courtney tonight on ET only we're with rapper and reality star Flavor Flav after nearly crushed to death by a boulder. Plus, big news for the cast of This Is Us and we're behind the scenes of The Voices All-Star Finale. You don't want to miss it. That's tonight at 6:30 right here on KPRC2. Now, stay right there. Houston Life will be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, parenting in the digital age. Local safety expert Rania Mancarius shares tools to help families navigate the waters of the internet. And the winner of Food Network's Christmas Cookie Challenge shares the easy steps to make a stunning stacked cookie Christmas tree. That's so cute. I know. Looking forward to that. Why don't we get a final check of what you are saying about today's question of the day. We asked, what is something that gets better with age? Nancy writes in, my marriage to my husband oh, of 51 years. Can't we all be so lucky? That's that is incredible. fantastic. Chrissy writes in, naps. I tell my kids all the time, you're going to wish one day you took those naps. You know what? I don't remember the last time I took a nap. And when I was a kid, I, I don't know Never. why I hated them like everyone else. Ron Moody writes in, Betty White, amen to that. I think she's 99 years old, right? 99? I think so. I she think looks she, fantastic. I think so. And I think we have time for just one more. Uh, no more comments. But check out our Facebook page, as always, if you want to read some of the viewer comments. We get so much great material from uh, from our viewers. I know. Great comments. We love that you guys partake in that. I cannot believe tomorrow is day 12 on my 12 days of stocking stuffers. Very excited about that. Listen, if you want a chance to win all 12 days, everything that we featured, you have to be a KPRC2 insider. You you can go to our website, check out how to do that. That's the only way that your name is entered into that giveaway. It is a big, big time giveaway. It's a great giveaway. Click to Houston.com slash insider. It's very simple. Just put in your information, then you will have a chance to win all 12 of Courtney's stocking stuffers. And the last one, I guess we'll find out what it is tomorrow. I know, day 12 coming up tomorrow. I've had a lot of fun curating this list too. Let's send things over now to Keith and Christine for the news at four o'clock. Hi guys.